Welcome or welcome back. I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. We're our time of the month. We are. And we are doing like a year end wrap up favorites. We sort of, them up. We sort of fell off doing favorites in the last half of the year. And that makes me sad because it's one of my favorite favorites are one of my favorites. We also are going to have a secondary favorites, not safe for work, OTM after dark. If you don't want to hear about sex, don't, don't watch, watch that. But otherwise, go watch it. <laughs> right. It'll be clearly labeled not safe for work <laughs> or children or children. Yes. No. Uh, so uh, as a little celebration of the end of one year and the beginning of another end of a decade, Beginning of a new one. Uh, we're going to pop, uh, pop some bottles. Yeah, uh, this is a Bassano Brut Blanc de Blanc. I got it because of the polka dots. I was about to say, I've never seen this before. It's beautiful. It's adorable. Well, it's, it's just festive. It's, you know, it's a product, product of Italy. Also, Cleveland Heights. What's up, Cleveland? <laughs> How is it both? Do you need help? No, ready? Here it goes. E Yay! Okay, we have these beautiful stemmed uh, champagne glasses, very thin glass, very elegant and tall. Very breakable. <laughs> From Goodwill. Yeah, and I will say, I think the glassware section is perfect in Goodwill, especially if you like to have different options and you don't care about having a full set of anything. Although we did get a full set of a cup, by full set, I think we mean, I think we got four of a couple different things. Now we have a selection of glassware to not only serve cocktails in, but like photograph them if you do do Instagram and stuff. Um, and you didn't have to spend a boatload of money on them. And I think having mismatched glassware is prettier. It's like funner. Mm -hmm. But I like because we got some coupe glasses. We got some Whoops. Uh, like whiskey it. tumblers. We got some rocks glasses. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I don't hate it. Me neither. I like that. Um, I like Wild. it because they're so thin and so tall. I would never pay real money for them because I'm like, I'm going to fucking break those. Uh -huh. But what were they like a dollar a piece? A dollar. They were a dollar. So I can buy the most beautiful champagne flute and break it and still be a little sad, but not like not as, as sad as she would be if I knocked it over on the hardwood floor last year. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that one, I think those were a uh, $14 a piece. Yep. Yikes. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> My first favorite is a T3 twirl not a sex toy one and one quarter inch curling iron it does have a clip and i must say i've only owned it for a couple of months but i've not used my curling wand one time since i bought this because you love it that much because i love it this much that much i swear i can curl my entire head of hair in under 10 minutes wow it has the power somehow to like almost curl my hair instantly and it makes it look shiny because it's ceramic. It glides through my hair really nicely. It doesn't feel like it's tugging. I like the swivel base. Mm. To go to the different settings, you just twist the bottom here. So there's no buttons to click. It has an automatic shut off, which is really important in case you ever leave it plugged in, which I try to never Someone do. Someone, you undoubtedly will though. Right. It has a built-in uh, like foot rest. It's very comfortable and easy to use. It has a very generously sized uh, cool tip at the top so if you are holding it and curling you won't burn your fingers and the curls that it gives me are perfect I like to curl from like like mid shaft to about the bottom one and a half inches of my hair and then I use the clip and I like straighten the bottom so I can have that not flipped out curl look I mm -hmm. like to just make it look a little bit more messy which is what my hairdresser does and I'm finally able to achieve that look with this and the curls hold really, really well. I could, I could probably wear them the next day. They mm -hmm. won't look very defined. My hair will be more wavy, but I would still do it. And I feel like I'm wanting to curl my hair more since owning this. And I actually got it at Costco because these are really pricey. Mm -hmm. Our hair hero, Kate Small Things mm -hmm. from the Small Things blog, she has used this for a really long time and has raved about it. But the one she talks about is like $150. Yeah, they're really expensive. Ish, maybe 120. And I got this at Costco for 49.99 because it was 59.99 and then they had a $10 off deal and the deal went really quickly. Like I think I told you about it. Yeah. By the time you I looked at it again, it was sold out. Uh-huh. So, if you can find it at Costco either online or in store, I think it's a great deal. I've heard some people online be like, "It's not really like the top one from T3. They got the Costco version. It's not as good." But I'm someone who's been using it and I freaking love it. It's then it's obviously even if it's not the best, it's still better than what you were using before. Exactly. I'm I can't rave rave about it enough. I've 
like I want to buy it for people that I know. Like I want you to have it because it's so great. Oh, that that's when you know it's really good. Uh huh. Mm. Cause you curl your hair so beautifully. And I also curl my hair like every day. Yeah, so and the I, I know the ceramic is more gentle. It is on your hair fall. And it has five heat settings. And I only use like a two or a three. I don't even go up to five. And oh, my really? hair is still super curled. Mm. Mm. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. I guess it's my eyebrows. Oh yeah, good one. Are you sick of hearing us talk about this? Uh, th that's the thing. Like I almost <laughs> didn't put it in the video because I feel like we talk about it so much, but that's the reason it should be in this video. Mm -hmm. It is the Brow Lux Brow Pencil. Ugh. Ugh. I just, so I met them uh, in New York at a Indie Beauty Expo and they gave us pencils. They like color matched me on the spot, color matched Danielle from a picture I had on my phone and then gave us some. And I honestly, the only reason I have used a different pencil is because this has been like not available. I've had it, I've like lost it temporarily. Oh. Otherwise like I am using this and actually I'm getting to the bottom of this one and I haven't ordered another one. So I'm like saving it. And if you do order it, use our code OTMBROW15 on Amazon. Uh, absolutely. So I will say I didn't use it today because it's I have very little left. And I I don't know. I'm like You're saving it for something. I don't know why I'm saving it. But yes, I'm saving it for something for like a day where I need them to be like super fucking fierce. Right. But I'll just order a new one and uh, use the code. It is a great brow pencil. It's first of all, it's beautiful. It Step is. one. Um, the customer service for them is amazing. You can DM them on Instagram. You can send them an email. Like they will help you with whatever you need, including color matching you. Mm -hmm. If you're not sure which color to use, the texture is drier than most of my other pencils. So I feel like it's harder for me to do too much. Mm -hmm. I was looking at my old oh God. dip brow brows from yeah. maybe two years ago and was mortified because it was like way too much eyebrow. Um, but this one, I feel like they just end up looking just natural, but better. Mm -hmm. My eyebrows, but better, which is what we were always looking yeah. for for lipsticks. Now I found it for eyebrows. Um, I love the spoolie that it has. I love the shape of the actual product. Mm -hmm. No I complaints. Have zero. <laughs> I know. Other than that it's not just an infinite pencil. Yeah. The fact that it runs out is very sad for me because <laughs> or I- Or that I can't just like go to Ulta and buy it. Yeah. There's although some, Amazon, although Amazon's, Amazon's more convenient than you're Ulta. You're right. You're so right. Definitely so true. Mm hmm So yeah. Thank you, Brow Lux. Yes, you thank you. have changed my brow life. Life. My brow life. And I think that the reason I like it so much is because I used to set my brows with a brow gel with other pencils, but this pencil is so perfectly waxy that it holds your brow hairs in place where you want them to be for the rest of the day. You mm -hmm. don't even have to set them. Yeah. I That's never great. set mine to begin with, but... Okay. What I wanted to say is that a lot of my favorites, not a lot of them, a few of them are products that are my favorites because they're things that I had very deep desires for and I really had thought about purchasing for like six months to a year. I saved up my budget for it. It was like the only thing I purchased that month. So they're a little bit pricier. This, my shoes and my coat, I saved up and didn't buy anything else in those months. Oh yeah, all my shit is stuff that I probably bought on a whim. Right. And it's... Never mind. I was going to say it's inexpensive. Bitch, it's not. <laughs> right. Like there are some things like my Apple AirPods that were $139 that I had been, I had been wanting a pair of completely true wireless headphones for about a year. I tried a couple cheapies from Target and they just didn't work. They don't stay in my ears. I have oddly shaped ear holes evidently. And a friend of ours actually had these and he let me try them. And he was like, you can also buy a clip to make it fit into the top of your ear a little bit better. Well, it turned out that I didn't even need to buy them because these stay in my ear so well. I love how small and compact they are. I can use my iPhone charger to charge them, which is something I usually have with me either at work or in my purse or in my car, so I'm never without a charge. I, I like that they pair up with my laptop, they pair up with my phone, they look kind of weird in my ear, I think all wireless headphones look weird. Yeah, it's like that little, that down thing. Like, but it does make it easy to take in and out and mm -hmm. to hold. And I, I don't know, it's just been a purchase that I felt really stupid when I got them because I felt super trendy. Mm -hmm. But they're so useful. Like I was telling Caitlin the other day, we met for coffee and after she left me, these two chatty 13-year-old girls sat down and they were like, ah, over boys and what they got for Christmas and stuff. They were, it was so cute because it reminded me of what I would have done. Like, I was about to say, what like, did you get for Christmas this year? It was like, you could tell they hadn't seen each other in a while. Right, and also, 
I mean, when was the last time you asked someone that question? What did you get for Christmas? It's just like not a thing that we I do know. anymore. So it was cute, but I was also trying to do real work. And so I just took out my AirPods, put them in, and all was right in the world. They're, they're so tiny that I'm afraid I'm going to lose them. Yes. But so far, I've had them for like four or five months and I've been okay. The sound is really good on these. I like that when you remove it from your ear, it senses that and it will mute the music. Mm -hmm. So I can just like have a quick conversation, put it back in and it resumes. Mm, that's cool. It is. So this is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Concentrate. Youth activating concentrate. I mean, tell me I don't look younger than at the beginning of I was going to say, year. go to 2019, like January 2019 and then go to January 2020. Hello. We look like we're babies. I am Benjamin Buttoning. Same, except the opposite. Not in a creepy way. We're becoming babies. I, I have zero. I have zero complaints other than it's expensive. But that's not as much a complaint as just a begrudging admission. Like it, you know, it just is expensive. Caitlin, you know what we need to do? What we need to look and see how much buying bifidus costs, and let's just buy bifidus <laughs> because <laughs> that's the ingredient that's the youth activating. That's what they say. Yeah. Let's look it's it up. It's the bifidus. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. I would absolutely re I mean, I will a hundred times over repurchase. Me too. Ugh, that I makes me so it. sad. Like, it doesn't really have a fragrance. It's a very <sighs> thin... Well, I guess it just smells soapy. It does. It's clean. But it's like, it absorbs so quickly. Like, I put it on last night, and I hadn't put it on in a couple days, and I just was like, oh, get in there, youth activating concentrate. It's so soft. Activate my youth. It's so soft. Wow, shouting, just straight up yelling today. It's worth spending your beauty budget on it because yes. I feel like it makes such a difference in my routine that I don't have to spend the most on my other things because I can just rely on this beautiful glass bottle to just like fix everything. It feels like a fucking magic elixir. It is a magic elixir. Terry, let's go, let's go. I just Let's like and say I, it every time I put it on. Part of it is the packaging. Like oh, it you're just like an apothecary feels shop like I'm, yeah. Something that I purchased at the last Sephora sale was a primer by Ren, and it's the Perfect Canvas Clean Primer. It's silicone free. It comes sort of like in the similar style as the Lancome and Fans Genifique. It's a pipette. It is glass. It is like a watery texture, which you would think, how's that going to prime my skin for makeup? And I think earlier in the year I had said to Caitlin, I don't have a favorite primer. I don't even know if they're working. I don't yeah. even know if it's working, but yeah. I'm just doing it anyways. Yes. So I did some research and everybody online was like, this primer is absolutely amazing. It's weightless. There's something in it that like you put it on and you think my skin doesn't really feel any different. How's my makeup going to look better? Bitch, I can put this <laughs> on. I put this on and I do my makeup and I don't really ever have to touch up throughout the day. There are some times if I've gotten like really nervous or something and I start to like perspire, but normally I would just like go to work for the day, midway through, like after lunch, I would look at my face in the mirror and I'd be like, oh, you look really oily on your chin, around your nose and in the center of your forehead. So I would blot with like my dampened beauty sponge. And I don't have to do that anymore and it's fucking mind blowing. <laughs> and I love that it's a clean beauty brand at, at Sephora or anywhere really. Uh, it's cruelty free. It's absolutely phenomenal and I think they're coming out, they've been teasing that they're coming out with a non-serum-like version. They're gonna come out with one in like a squeeze tube that's like lotion form. Hmm. I'm gonna buy that too when I'm done with this. Really? Yeah. Even though you love this one so much. I'm gonna try it. Mm. I just think like, I didn't know primers could work until I had that. That's huge actually because I do kind of sometimes think primers are hokey pokey bull crap. Like yeah, am I just adding another layer of something that's gonna like clog my pores okay. before I even put makeup on? Maybe. And silicones can be very clogging, so that's why I bought that one. So it's been at least a year, and I'm still loving it. And I think that says a lot, because we buy a lot of makeup, we buy a lot of beauty products, like I'm always oh. trying new stuff, but if I continue to reach for something for over a year, that's when you know it's a goodie for me. And this is the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow 8.0 Bare Neutrals Palette. I, oh, the the only it I know, I was just thinking, why am I talking about this if you can't buy it? It's okay. Sorry, guys. Wow. If you have it in your collection, dig it out because it's fantastic. Yeah, I will say I obviously do wow. not use all of the shades. Uh, but yeah, so it's a mixture of like some nice brownie shades and then some nice neutral shades. They are two, I would call them foiled metallic eyeshadows mm -hmm. because they go on and they're not shimmery. They're not glittery. They just are 
reflective. Yeah. They're foiled. I mean, they, they're foiled. They're yeah. foiled. And they are the shades. I hate when they do this. Me I want too. them to. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Yeah. So it's Aha and Cognac. And I straight up just throw a finger in there mm -hmm. and I even t I even topped it. I used a totally different palette today. I used a Too Faced palette, but I still brought in a little bit of this one just because I love it so much. I mean, I think the biggest thing when you're looking for a metallic eye is not is to is to swatch it and see make sure it's not glittery. Yeah. Unless that's what you want. Some people want glittery. But I don't. Like I just want I want a shimmer that I can yeah. I want a metallic right. that I can wear on a daily basis, and I feel like this is super wearable, but it doesn't look like, oh my god, you're wearing I agree. nighttime club eye makeup. Um, yeah, I think you I could do an entire eye look with this one palette if you oh, just want to stick with neutrals. Absolutely. And I definitely I have it. used a couple of the shades. Like I tend never to use like the really light ones mm -hmm. in any palette, um, but sometimes it is nice to just use that as a base mm -hmm. to get a... a even palette all over your eyelid and then go in with eyeshadow. Okay. I just never do that because that's an extra step. Right. But freaking love it. Me too. <gasps> I think Bare Minerals eyeshadows are really great quality. I've swatched a couple more at Ulta, like their new ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm always so tempted to buy them, but I'm like, no, no. Because it's so hard to use up an eyeshadow palette. I will say eyeshadow, wow. eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes are probably the last beauty product I ever really buy just because See? I have some. Yep. I almost always just want a brown. This should be no surprise to you if you are <laughs> a frequent viewer of our channel. I think my top favorite from 2019. Oh, like your top favorite. My top favorite, because I fucking can't stop and I just want more. And I, you know, I'm not allowed to buy more. No. The Buxom Full Force Lipsticks. You guys. These lipsticks changed my lip life. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> you don't even understand. They are $19, so they don't break the bank because let's face it, drugstore prices today, like 12 bucks for a lipstick. I know, I'm, I'm always surprised when I go to the drugstore because it's so much more expensive than I think it's going exactly. to be. Exactly. So I'm investing in Buxom products because I think they make some of the best lip products I've ever used. This Full Force line was a new one for them for the year and I bought two shades, the shade Goddess, which I'm wearing now, and the shade Influencer. Stop! Are you kidding? I hate that name, but it's such a great color. Uh -huh. uh, so Influencer is a bit of a, like more cinnamon? Mauve color. Mauve. I was gonna say yeah, mauve. <sighs> it's so good though. Yeah, even just the way that it swatched on your hand. Creamy. They're uh -huh. so creamy, and then it glides. Yeah. Oh, it looks like I'm falling off a little bit. Uh, this is just my perfect nude. I can't stop wearing them. You gotta show them your swatch. Oh, it's on my. Oh yeah, it's on my lip. That so this is influencer. Oh, I thought you had the other one on your lip. No, I have goddess on my lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say you need to swatch. Oh, yeah. Show your hands swatch. So this is Influencer, and then Goddess is what I'm wearing. I I feel like if I don't know what lipstick I want to wear, I'm reaching for this because it just always looks good. It hydrates my lips in a way that's not slippery, like it's not going to travel. You don't need a lip liner. You can whack it on without a mirror. It is a little bit tingly because it's marketed as a plumping lipstick, but I do not think that it's an intense tingle. I don't think that most people would really notice it after a few minutes, and I don't really think it does anything as far as plumping, but I don't care. Yeah. I wasn't buying it for that. Yeah. I bought it because the color selection was so great, and if you're just looking for a really comfortable, creamy lipstick that never gets patchy and never, like, sticks to the inside of your lips, this is just, like, wow. Like, Charlotte Tilbury forever and always, but if you don't want to spend $35, this is where you should go. Okay, so as a bitch that spent $35. I mean, I have too, because I have three of them. My favorite lipstick of the year, and it is exactly what Danielle says, the one that I reach for when in doubt. Yep. Like, if I just don't know what to put on my mouth, it usually ends up being this, and it is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Is that what um, you're wearing? No. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a combo right that now. That looks good. Thank you. Um, so they just, oh, I looks darker. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. I love the shape of the bullet. I love that they sort of squared it off a little bit. Cause mm -hmm. I feel like it makes it so that I can do a really nice crisp line. Cause I never, ever wear lip liner. Um, even though I have the corresponding lip liner for this exact lipstick. Um, but yeah, so it's just a really nice, uh, I will say it's a nude that's on the browner side. Mm -hmm. I have put it on before and sometimes thought, oh, it's browner than I wanted. But in general, it goes with like every makeup look I've ever really done. It's a neutral without washing me out, which mm -hmm. sometimes is a problem because I am on the fair side. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, the formula is amazing. I never am worried about how it's wearing down. Um, you put it on and you're good to go. I agree. And even if, and I, it's probably because of the shade, because it is sort of like semi close to your natural lip, most people's natural lip color. Um, like if it wears off, it wears off and I'm not walking around looking like a fucking moron. Yep. Which is one of my <laughs> least favorite things. To look like a fucking moron? Yes. Mind. <laughs> I mean, I think that's very unique to me. I don't think a lot of, I think most people don't mind being a fucking moron. <laughs> Based on y'all's behavior. <laughs> not y'all. You're great. It's everybody else. You guys are great. Uh, gals. <laughs> guys, gals. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you want to not look like a fucking idiot and you want to spend $35 to do so, Charlotte Tilbury is the way to go. I agree. It's the best luxury lipstick I've ever bought. Yes. This next item was gifted to us. In fact, we filmed an entire video about our dossier, 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 I think, dossier scents. They reached out to us and they were like, hey, you can each pick three scents. We make luxury, we make luxury fragrances for less. Dupes. S dupes. So they very blatantly explain like, we're taking this, whatever, what was this supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know what this was supposed to be. Oh no, it was, um. Fresh Woody too. It was. I'll look. Oh. Dior Sauvage. Sauvage. Oh yes. So they'll say, hey, if you like Dior Sauvage, or if you like mm -hmm. uh, YSL Black Opium, you will like this because it's basically the same, but for $29. It lets you experience the magnetic sex appeal of Dior without having to pay for Johnny Depp's face on an ad. Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay, I agree with that. Which is great, because I don't necessarily want to see Johnny Depp's face on an ad. I don't either. Ugh, not at all. And their packaging, I think, is quite luxurious, actually. It has magnetic top, Love which that. Caitlin and I are obsessed with. Like, yeah. that's actually cost money. We're a total know? fucking sucker for a magnetic <laughs> lid. I know. And I like the clean packaging. I don't need to have, like, this pink shiny bottle on my vanity. It makes me feel immature. Yeah, there are times where I, like, Is don't want to buy a specific perfume because it's so... Like, I don't need a bow topper or, like, on the Daisy flower toppers. Yeah. I love Daisy and it's a nostalgic scent for me, but I hate the bottle. And I think about... I always think about um Terry, uh, the star one. What is it called? Like alien. A alien, but it's shaped like a star, right? Mm-hmm. Like I would hate to have that sitting on the counter. Same. Or even um so hard to clean. Those so. those Kardashian ones that were shaped like a geode that like laid sideways. No, that's not for me. No. I just need a plain bottle. <laughs> yeah. The only downside to that is that I have three of them. Me too. Well, I don't know if this is a downside. I have three of them. I don't like that I have to look specifically at the tag to mm. figure out which one I'm putting on. But I will say, it just means that I just grab at, grab. grab. She I just, grabs it. I grab at random and just spray them all over my body. Spritz them. You spritz them. I'm just spritz, spritz, spritz. <laughs> But I will say that that's literally what I do. Like they all sit. Same. And I'm I just like, I'm like, okay, whatever today. Like I don't give a fuck. We're mixologists. And I will say it also means I don't know which one is my favorite. Same, kind of. Except I know that Fresh Woody 2 is my favorite. So this is, as it explains, it's a woody scent. It has a little bit of a fresh undertone. This is marketed as a men's cologne, which, you know, we don't give a shit about that. We don't follow those rules. And then I will pair it with another one that I got from Dossier, Dossier. Every time. And it's a warmer like black opium i'll pair it with black opium i'll pair it with the uh carolina herrera good girl knockoff dupe dupe not knockoff and i also layer it with my glossier you yes. i layer it with my freaking ysl la home you can make an entirely different scent that doesn't even exist if you just mix your fragrances it's fantastic yeah and i've had malt since i started wearing these and like layering them over top of other ones i've had I just want I love that one. I have, um, I've had like Uber drivers ask me what I was wearing or like say like, oh, you smell nice, which always makes me nervous that I have too much on. No. And no, then no. like multiple guys I've seen like have commented on my personal scent. Or peculiar. Was that the one? Oh yeah. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. No, but like yesterday, what's his face was like, oh, you smell, you smell so nice as usual. Yes, like, that's a good compliment. Yes. Thank you, especially because I don't shower. Also, same. <laughs> Although I will say I do shower most of the time prior to dates, just to be safe. Well, yeah. Pits pussy poopal. Pits pussy poopal. Mm -hmm. Hashtag forever. <laughs> Anyhow, if you want to get luxury fragrances for less, check out dossier.com. We will post a link in the description box, and we have a discount code. Yep. And so this is technically not an ad, 
not sponsored, but we're affiliated. It's yes. an affiliate link. Yes. You know what I also fucking love? What? They send you a free a free sample. Yes. Watch our video. We'll link it below. Yeah, they give you, they give you free samples, so in theory you can test it out and send back the full size one if you don't like it. But I loved it because I when I went on my trip the other day, I did. I was just gonna ignore it. Uh, I fucking saved it. When I went on my trip to Florida the other day, I just was able to throw those minis in the bag and not give a fuck about great. TSA. That is great. Yeah. So these shoes I have featured. You've probably seen them in photos uh, on Instagram. This is my second pair. Yeah, these are the Superga Kotu Classic in the traditional white. Um, Kate Middleton loves them. I love how you laced them. You Thanks. fancy, Isn't that fancy cute? girl. Um, I love them. I feel like it's the first time I've ever had a sneaker that I can wear as like, a fashion shoe. Yeah. Like I don't feel dumpy in them. Mm -hmm. I think they're cute. I think they make my large feet look smaller. They go with everything because they're white. Um, I, I I have no complaints. I will say when they ha when I get a fresh pair, they do nip in a little. I have wide feet and they nip in a little bit at the pinky toe. But within a couple wears, I never notice a problem. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's thing. 41, which I think is a nine and a half. Yeah. I typically wear a 10. But I like the nine and a half in these better. The ten's just a little bit big. Do you wear socks? I do wear little no-shows. Okay. I have a special toothbrush that I specifically use for shoes Ow. and non-toothbrushing things. Usually it's for shoes. But I usually Is it just your do your guest toothbrush. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be really funny though. That would be funny. Uh no, I usually will just, I'll like spray and wash them or like mm. oxy clean them and I'll just scrub them with a toothbrush. And I will say it's not like they come back sparkling white, but I think now that I have multiple pairs, I will actually try to just toss them in the wash. Um, cause now, now you know, I have backup pairs at this point. Pairs. I have, I have three yeah. pairs. Yeah. You are I have insane. my original pair, which I've loved to death and they are no longer white. I have this pair, which is maybe a year old and they are borderline white and then I have a new fresh pair that's like blindingly white never been worn the only problem with a white shoe is one uh if your jeans rub off yep. any dye or they will get it or if you fucking self tan your legs uh -huh. then you end up with brown all around it's still worth it to me I had a bit of a wish list for the year that I have in a notes section of my phone where I'm like okay I really need a brown boot or I really need a brown bag or a, like decently professional looking but very neutral can wear casual or dressed up coat uh -huh. and last year on Macy's website I found this Ralph Lauren reefer coat that I loved and I could never find it in store so I couldn't really tell if the sizing was gonna be too small or too big and I had just put it on my wish list mm -hmm. and it was like a $300 coat so it was a big investment I didn't just want to take a chance on it and then this year, around the time of Black Friday, they put it on sale for like $150 on the website. And I Googled and I found that my local Macy's had a few in stock of the sizes that I thought it would be. And so I went to the store, I tried them on, and I fell in love with this Ralph Lauren reefer coat. So I ended up getting a size 10, which is bigger than what I would normally go for because I really wanted to make sure I could wear it with sweaters. Uh, and I liked the oversized look. Actually, Estee Lalonde is the reason that I wanted a coat like this. Yeah. She is the queen of wearing an oversized coat. So it's this beautiful camel color. It has three, two, three buttons that I feel like, although, would you actually say this is oversized? Because looking at where it falls on your shoulder and then how much, yeah. like, could you have done a size down? I did try. I was in between. Like, I was yeah. really questioning. And I had a sweater on that day, but I was like, what if it's not a very big sweater? Yeah. Um, I just feel like it's, not. I just yeah. feel like it doesn't really have enough. I guess because I never intended to button it. Yeah. I'm wearing it more as like, yes, it's warm, but it's more of a fashion coat for me. If I really want to be warm, I'm going to wear my Eddie Bauer, where yeah. I can definitely zip it and look like a marshmallow. So I thought like it looked bigger when it was undone. Well, yes. Yeah, I agree. With um, that. It has these, uh, like, so it has pockets, but then on this side, it had like this, that's funny, I've never even noticed. This like random faux pocket. Oh, it, it doesn't actually pocket. I don't actually, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. It does. That's I, your reefer pocket. That's my weed pocket. Yes. But the pockets are functional. They like hit at the right place. Sometimes you get pockets and they're like way down here or way back here and you're constantly like, where's my pocket? 
I will say I feel like a douchebag when I do this, <laughs> but my favorite way to wear it is with like a yep. shirt or whatever, a sweater, but I like to pull up the collar around me so it stands up. Yeah. So I don't think of it as like a popped collar, but it's like a tall collar. Yes. It's yeah. a single breasted, which I was something that was really important to me. The detail, like just this little detail of the appearance of a fold here, of a cuff. Yeah. On one side oh, of the sleeve. I, I just thought like that. stuff like that just took it to the extra like next level for me. I like that it has like the split design in the back so when you're walking it's comfortable. It's uh, very warm and I got it. Here's the best part. A double breasted jacket. That is the ja the definition of reefer coat. Really? Yes. I just think it pairs well with everything. I wear it with black stuff, which I think is important. Yes. Like that camo color is so versatile. Mm -hmm. So it was $350 marked down to like 150, I think for Black Friday. I went in store. She price matched the thing online. Like she gave me the price online. Don't mind me. I just and there was one person, I don't think I told you this. There was one person ahead of me in line which like I would expect, I'm at a store, I'm a customer. Mm -hmm. I hope people are buying things. Oh my God, and she was like, I'm gonna give you an extra discount for waiting. She said, I'm gonna give you an extra 15% off because you waited in line. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so nice, thank you. So I got the coat for $111. That's great. And that's, I'm gonna have that for years. Cause I was thinking like, um, something that I was discussing with someone else the other day was what's the most you'd ever pay for a coat? that wasn't like a special performing coat. Like obviously if I'm going to the fucking Arctic, I'm gonna buy a- 150 bucks? $200? Yeah, I think like two or 250 maybe. Okay. And that, and if it's a $250 coat, that to me is like, am I Eddie? Like that's like a heavy duty. But you can find such good deals on those. Right, that's the thing. Like I don't, I didn't pay that for no. mine. It was something I was willing to invest in. I wear it all the time. I love it so much. Mm -hmm, I love it. I feel cool when I wear it. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I feel so. I just feel like a cool bitch. Right, but I also don't think that you look like overdressed. When I don't either. Mm -hmm. I feel like because it 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 has a shape, but it's not like a tailored coat where it like really nips in at the waist. It doesn't like flare out or anything. I don't know. It doesn't have a big collar breasted collar like this, like lapels or anything. I just, mm -hmm. I feel like it just looks flattering. You look effortless. Effortless. The next thing I have, and again, you've heard about it, and that's the whole thing. If and it's in this video, forever. it's because you've heard about it. Um, this is the Illume Wood Fire Candle. Mm -hmm. I cannot explain to you how many of these I have burnt, I have loved. Um, this one, I'm trying to think where I got this one. I don't know, I bought like so many iterations of it. I have loved this scent for years, years and years and years. It's my favorite candle other than this other one that's like impossible to get. Um, Hobnail, if you're watching. Fucking reindeer, make that. No, no, no. Reindeer. Knob Hill. Hobnail. Hobnail. Simpatico Hobnail. Simpatico. Simpatico no. Hobnail <laughs> candle in the scent reindeer. Which it's is red. A holiday exclusive. Uh, anyway, but so this scent, even though I do say that this I can only maybe burn this maybe six months of the year. I don't like burning it in the summer. Okay. It's too cozy for the summer. Okay. But um, I have one at work. I've been burning candles at work. You have not. I have. Really? Yeah. But so they are soy, they're soy candles. Yeah. So they burn really nicely. Um, the only downside to that is that because they burn more slowly, if you want an even burn where you like don't waste any of the wax, you can tell, see there's, it's like totally flat in there. And this one's burned out. Like this is in my empties. Uh -huh. um, you have to let it burn until the whole top has mm -hmm. liquefied. Otherwise you'll end up with the wick like burrowing in. And then the sides will be hard wax. Yeah, so essentially you've just wasted, wasted all of that. Um, scent and wax and all that stuff. So if you can, you just have to know that if you're gonna light it, you have to have it lit for like an, at least an hour. I had had a pair of Fortress Inc, Fortress of Inca shoes on my wish list again for about a year. Specifically, the pair that I was after was a pair of cut out Oxford shoes, <laughs> which sounds hideous and a lot of people probably think it is, but I've been recently obsessed with this woman on YouTube and on Instagram called What Kate Finds. I feel like we are 
channeling we are riding the same wavelength of ideas and when i say something she'll then say it a couple days later or vice versa and i just find it extremely mind-blowing and i saw her wearing this pair of shoes and i was like oh my god i have to have them and so i spent probably a good month going through multiple sizes from multiple dealers mm -hmm. until i found my perfect size and my perfect pair these are cutout oxfords from fortress of inca and they are called the carmen they are handmade shoes in peru they're ethically sourced so the materials are ethically sourced all of the uh craftsmen are paid very fairly you can read all about it on their website and that was something that was really important to me they are actually surprisingly comfortable i don't think i'm gonna like wear these to go trek around the mall all right, day yeah. anytime soon but they're they're just they're when I saw this, I was like, I didn't know shoes could be art until I owned this shoe. And I love them so much. They're very neutral. Like, I would wear them with this outfit that I'm wearing now. I don't give a fuck because I'm like, look at my shoes. Don't care about the rest of my outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I had it on my list of things to do. So this company is actually based in Austin. They only have one store and it's in Austin, Texas. And when Mike and I were there in August, I had as the only thing on my list to do, go to the Fortress of Inca store and find out what shoe I want. And I never did it. Mm. So I had to buy them online. And so is this pair, because I remember you messaging them after you got a pair and we're like, they're floppy. Are they supposed to be like that? Is that right. this pair or a different pair? Different pair. Oh, okay. So she was like, listen, I know it's really hard to tell what size you are. We're out of stock of the size that you need because they're being made in Peru right now, but we'll extend the return policy for you so that you can try both of them and then return the one that doesn't work. Got it. Their customer service is amazing. They're not a very big company. Um, and I just, I felt like customer service was great. I loved the craftsmanship of the shoe. I'm actually in the market for like a brown or cognac color, either mule, heeled mule or booty, like a low booty. And they have a mule called the Michelle mule in a dreamy cognac color that I really want, but it's $250 and I can't. So, well, what size did you end up getting for those then? Oh, what did I get, a 38? I got a 38. And what are you normally? In a Birkenstock, I'm normally a 39. Okay. So because they are leather, they do have a little bit of room for stretch. And as you saw, it's a cutout shoe. So it's not, in, your foot's not fully encapsulated in the shoe. It's going to stretch a little bit, but you don't want your foot to like slide out of them, which is what was happening with another pair that I tried. The size what? The 39s. Yeah. And then the 37s were too tight. The 38s were just right. They were my Goldilocks shoe. Oh, got it. Okay. So it, they do have sizing guides online and absolutely reach out to them, sort of like Brow Lux, if you are questioning, because she did say that this shoe fits a little bit differently than their others. So I think that's important to keep in mind. But if you want, like, that's a luxury shoe to me. I don't need a pair of Valentinos or a fucking Gucci loafer. I want a good leather shoe that I know I can wear with a multitude of outfits. I've seen people wear them with skirts and dresses and I'm, you know, I'm hoping 2020 is the year when I can break into that uh, Oxford skirt dress trend. I don't know. It just, I, like I think it totally would work because they remind me a little bit of um, saddle shoes. They do. They okay. do remind me of saddle shoes. So my last cheapest and just like most random. Has this changed your life the most? Favorite thing. Yes. <laughs> it is my 10 foot iPhone charging cord. So actually I should take this off because it doesn't come with that part. It's literally just a 10 foot cord from Amazon. Mm -hmm. I will say I, I've had a bunch of these because I think because they're sort of like cheapy Amazon versions, they don't necessarily last forever. You could probably spend a little bit extra money and they would, but I don't mind. Life changing. Life changing. It's just 10 feet. And I've given it to so many people as gifts and they, it's the one gift I've ever given my brother where he, <sighs> actually came back like the next time I saw him months later and was like, that's the most useful gift I've ever been given. She turned me onto them too. And that's all we use in this house. The other day when I was flying home from the airport, I went into a restaurant to like kill time, kill some beers. And I wanted to charge my phone, but there were no outlets on the outside. I was seated at the bar and there were no outlets in front of the bar, mm -hmm. but my phone was like kind of dying. So I asked the bartender, actually, I was like, I said, are you hiding any outlets back there? Outlet? Outlet. You sound like <laughs> Moira. Do you have any outlets back there? Are you hiding any? And he was like, well, I'm personally not hiding any. I don't, anyway, but he was like, but I do have an outlet over here. But it was 
over in front of someone two people over at the bar from me mm. and i was like oh well do you mind plugging in my phone and he and i pull this out and he's like <laughs> i was just about to say i don't know if your cord's gonna be long enough but i think but, we're good th yes because it literally i mean i could have sat another four feet away mm -hmm. and been fine um but yeah and then at airports if you like you don't want to i don't want to sit on the floor next to an outlet in an airport i mm -hmm. find that repulsive so i can really sit wherever the fuck i want near an outlet as long as i can find one yeah you're right yeah 100%. there's there's like the, i will say the only time that it is stupid is in your car <laughs> i don't use it for my car yeah. i use the ones that apple gave me for my car same um i will but i will say if you have kids using it in your car is not that bad of an idea because most back of the time a, a usb is not in the back seat yeah it's mm -hmm. in the front seat 10 out of 10 10, 10 out, of out of 10 would recommend you're so right they're just it just you don't realize it's so practical it's you don't realize how convenient it's going to be until you have it mm -hmm. and there have been a lot of people that have seen me using this and been like oh my god where do you get that and i was like literally amazon amazon I love her favorites. I love my favorites. Uh -huh, same. We just see this. This is the kind of fucked up thing, though, is because now I want to buy this uh -huh. and this and that. What's that? The curling, curling iron, curling iron, the primer, and the lipsticks. And have you tried these? And I think I'm gonna have to buckle down and fucking get you them. Try yeah, I'll just stick them in my ears right now. Okay, so what's on your mouth? It's Goddess by uh, Buxom. Buxom Full Force lipstick so i apologize i cheated today and i did two um the base color is the bobby brown sandwash pink mm. which i love i had gotten a tiny that. one of these i think from like a sephora sample and i did go out and repurchase a full size because i liked it so much it's a great just like pinky it's just i mean it's a it's a light soft pink but it's a really great like creamy formula it's not too thick it's not matte it's somewhere in between it's more like a traditional lipstick mm -hmm. like the kind that your mom wore yeah um but then I wanted it to not be as pinky, so I topped it with the Buxom Taupe It Off, which skews very brown, so I think the combo makes it sort of like my perfect shade. A little bit rosy. So... Well, let us know what you loved in 2019. Oh, absolutely. Or let us know what you hated in 2019. I'm on a budget, though. <laughs> <laughs> so... Watch our last video. Watch, your watch our next video. video. Watch all, all the, the videos. The videos. Comment, like, and subscribe. Comments, questions, concerns, criticisms, critiques. What else starts with a C? No, forward your concerns to someone else. I don't care. <laughs> Ring the bell. That was the last one. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Get those notifications every time we post a new video. Which we're not sure when that's going to be yet because we are going to sit down and plan it today. Twice uh, a week. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be posting. Right. Who knows what day it'll be uploaded, but twice a week is our goal. It's happening. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. We have a Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter if you, you want. You can. I don't really see the we point. We also have a Pinterest that I sometimes post too, but... Oh, yeah, that's true. Set those Google alerts so that anytime we're mentioned in the press, <laughs> you get an email about it. <laughs> Please let me know if I'm mentioned in the press. Please let me know. Oh my god. Also, you know, tell your friends, tell your family. We're here, we're doing it. It's 2020. It is 2020. So Going into this year with perfect vision. Someone told, someone commented, I hope that this is the year for you guys that you can quit your job and do this full time. And I was like, yes! Thank you for putting that out into the universe. That's what I said. Thank you for manifesting that. Because Jesus. It's not happening anytime soon. No. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Honestly, Thank you for being here. You guys were a really big part of why 2019 was very successful for us. Yes. Looking forward to 2020. I think that we can really just blow the lid off this joint. It, I mean, it's because of you that we're able to continue doing it in 2020. I agree. It's because you guys engage. It's because you guys write in, you leave comments, you watch. The best comments. And you send us the nicest messages. We if do. we were- We cry sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> we do. <laughs> someone, yeah, because someone got our Christmas card and sent us a thank you today. Which was yeah, really I saw that. It's probably one of mine because I mailed it so late. But anyway, what thank else? you again. Just thank you, thank you a thousand times over. Okay, that's it. Love you. Bye. Hope you're having a great 2020 already. It's the best. Uh, you know, it's just onward and upward. Let's just finish this. Only better things. Bye. Bye.